the main reason we're here is we are going to uh, install um, one of these, the white one in particular. So these are basically little kind of circuit boards that have um, this one here is adjustable. So this plugs into your um, fan port and like that. And then this cable here plugs in to that end. From that point on, um, this little switch you can adjust um, and you can ramp up to an extra 50% on the fan to give that extra cooling. Now you can hear the difference in a second um, once I get this set up, so bear with me. But yeah, if you're gaming hard, um, then this would be my number one stage one of upgrades to go with. Um, so stage one would be buy this, which is about 10 pounds. I'll put the link in the description. Stage two would be to get the thermal pads done within um, the PS5 itself. And a stage three upgrade for cooling would be um, old liquid metal off and better liquid metal on from a, a different manufacturer. Taking into account that the stock liquid metal doesn't come with enough liquid metal. There is lack of liquid metal and that's the number one root cause of overheating. So basically stage one would be adding this to ramp up the fan an extra 25 to 50%. Stage two would be the thermal pads. And then obviously stage three would be to replace the liquid metal with better stuff and that tiny little bit extra for cooling. So this is the fan powering up um, on stock. So you'll hear the difference, give me two seconds. You literally can't hear it. It's virtually silent. I don't think it's going to get picked up on the, on camera. Uh, <clears throat> as you can see, we're coming up to the, the splash screen, but there is no um, significant fan increase. So the fan will sit at that regardless of how hard you are gaming. Now. Let me get set, let me turn this off, okay? And let me add this, and then what we can do is, we can show you the difference uh, this little gadget makes. So we'll let this power off. There we go, fan off. Um, so I'll uh, be back in a second guys, let me get this set up, you'll see that in a second. Right guys, um, let me pull this stock fan out, okay there we go, pull the cable out, or the power cable out at the back. What we'll do is we will install, um, this cable goes into the um, fan port here, um, it's keyed so there's only one way that this can go in. So there's no problem putting it in the wrong way, okay. Pop that in like so. Again, this is keyed and the fan will only pop in one way on the little um, PCB board. Boom, like so. And <clears throat> I've just got a little um, drill bit, not drill bit, but um, I fix it a bit. It's a flat head. This is just to adjust. Um, the adjuster. So we'll turn this on in a second. Let's go. Oh, hang on. I need to put power in. That would help, George. Right. So power is in. Let's turn it on. Fan is spinning up. There we go. We are up again. That's fine. Uh, the fan is spinning once more. Again, there is no significant noise coming off the fan. It is um, set to kind of stock, uh, stock RPM settings. So let's get this set up. So you will now see me adjust this. 
So what we'll do is we'll ramp this up high for the video. And one, two, three, you'll hear the difference. There we go guys, it's like a jet engine. All right, that's it, we're ramped up to the max. And there is a massive, massive, significant amount of air coming off that. It is going 10 to the dozen. That is a lot of a lot of air that's getting pushed. Now what we'll do is we will adjust this down to about um, one quarter speed. So basically that is um, back to stock, um, this will be just a quarter if that, just a quick nip. There is a, a difference as well, that is faster than stock. Let's go again, you can hear it, and let's go once more. And that is a significant amount of air um, being pushed just with this little dive. Now my recommendation is, you don't need it up full tilt. All I would suggest is, uh, bringing it back to the stock RPM, which is that one there. It's virtually silent, as you can hear, there's nothing. And then all I would do is, if you've got Stage one, which is this, stage two is the thermal pads, stage three is the liquid metal. I would literally just nip this about not even a quarter. And that adds about maybe two, 250, 300 RPM. It goes from being completely silent to you just being able to hear the fan spin that little bit faster. Um, you would basically tuck these cables uh, in here, you would get it all nipped up and tucked in proper and then obviously the um, top cover would go on um, easy enough and um, we can do that but it would basically tuck in there, not a problem like something like that, like so, top cover would go on the fan is spinning an extra 300, 350 rpm that is plenty to cool this um, PS5. Right guys, um, this is part of the <clears throat> assembly, but um, we'll do this as a, another video as well. Um, so this is obviously how to upgrade your thermal pads on a PS5 digital. Now, as you can see, obviously it's been pulled apart, um, ready to go. Um, I have got um, MX4, and I've obviously got right here, I've got pre-cut pads that are to go on. These are um, Arctic, um, they're 120 by 20 mil and they're 1.5 mil thickness. Um, these replace all the, the crappy um, PS5 Sony stuff. And as you can see, look, they're pretty much, it's, it's brittle. Um, it has been sitting out um, for a few days, but yeah, they're not the best. Um, so what we'll do is we'll get all this cleaned up, we've got my trusty cotton bud, some alcohol, and then we'll replace these um, and get them upgraded. So let's get started. Basically this will bring temperatures way down um, from the, I think it's from the 90s or high 80s down to it's either low 70s or upper 60s. So there is a significant, uh, significant um, drop in, in temperature. Um, so let's get these all cleaned up first and then we'll, uh, we'll get everything installed. Right, so we'll speed this up guys.
and that's it guys so guys this is the bit I'm always um, telling people to do um, when this comes out from factory there is not enough liquid metal on this yes there is liquid metal on it but there is not in sufficient um, liquid metal to do the cooling so this is the root cause of the number one overheating um, on a PS5 okay so if you want to get this upgraded get it done by myself and or a shop and ask them to put on enough um, you can use the stuff that's already on it and just add a, a tiny little bit more um, but um, you want to add a significant amount for the additional cooling that with the upgrades of the thermal pads um, you will be golden when it comes to gaming and no overheating um, so yeah this is the root cause of um, the number one problem um, with overheating if you can get it upgraded if not then you know turn it off back on again um, give it time to cool down but yeah um, try and get this upgraded with better stuff right let's get back to it I just took some off that guys um, I just thought there was just a little bit too much on it um, which is perfectly fine you can easily take it off by just drawing it back into the syringe um, so yeah um, that's pretty much what you're wanting a nice shine like a nice little puddle uh, on the APU um, along with the, the other part which is obviously at the bottom which we've obviously just done a second ago um, and that's basically how you want to um, uh, upgrade your thermal cooling or the liquid metal on the PS5 so we'll go over this again quickly and then we'll get get it back together now that is the perfect amount guys you can literally see the shine on it it's like a tiny little puddle you can actually see it moving back and forward when I tilt um, it looks a lot but it actually isn't see what I mean there you go, left right it doesn't look a lot but in fact, sorry, actually correction it does, it does look a lot but it's actually uh, not So once we get this into position we'll flip this over 